Hi there, this video is going to show you how to navigate our software Oxford Abstracts um, for our online virtual ICSD this year. Um, when you log into the program, if you've registered, this is what you are going to be able to see. Um, the first thing is the program. Over here on the left, if we expand this, we can see more information. You will not be able to see this. This is just for the admin view. We'll start with the program. If you click on this, it'll take you to the same view where we have all of our sessions listed. If you would like to view them in a different time zone, you can select this here to make sure that you're viewing it in your time zone. You can also filter out by different dates if you would like. You can choose different presentation types if you want to only see the plenaries or if you only want to see the poster sessions. We don't have our themes selected yet, but you can sort by those themes. We're hoping to get those into the program in August. And then lastly, you'll be able to bookmark some of these sessions if you would like, um, just by clicking this icon right here. And then you'll be able to filter out the sessions that you have that are bookmarked. You also can search the program at any point. Moving along on the left here, we have the About section, which just has information about ICSD, our abstract themes, our scientific committee, and contact information. We also have our participants. You can see here I've added just a test session. Um, this set test one is a poster presenter, so you can see that person right here. The participants are going to be all presenters, moderators, and speakers. And then we have just presenters, which are just our parallel session presenters. Um, so this person is listed twice. If we go into our categories, um, you will see all 22 of our themes. As I mentioned before, I only have the one showing, and that one is assigned to, to this theme. So this theme is showing, and you can see the name of that abstract right there. Um, but on the day of the event, you'll be able to see all the themes, and you'll be able to see all the abstracts that are underneath those themes. Next, we have presentation types. You can see the different sessions that are going to be oral sessions. Um, please note that these parallel sessions, each one will have multiple sessions, so it could be parallel session 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 3A, B, C, D. There will be concurrent sessions for the oral presentations. Again, we will have that live on our website come August. And then we have our plenary sessions, which are not concurrent, and we have our poster sessions. So over here, we are going to move on to our poster gallery. Um, I just have the one in here, but on the day of the event, we will see all of them. Right now, we are viewing it as a tile mode. You can also view it um, as a list. You can sort the titles of the, of the abstracts. You can also, again, sort by category. You'll be able to sort by the session as well. This one is assigned to parallel session 1A. All posters will be assigned to a poster session, not a parallel session. Um, but you'll see those options here. And then again, we'll have those tracks, um, which are going to be the same as the categories here as well. So if you click on one of the posters, it'll make it um, full screen. And you're able to make it completely full screen where you can move around, you can zoom in, you can zoom out to really see what is on the poster. And to exit the full screen, just click this minimize option here. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see the author of this, and you'll be able to post a comment for that author if you'd like to engage in a conversation. And then finally, we have the attendees. You can see here we have a few people um, that we've been testing out our registration with, um, but they will have these different options next to their badge. Um, to see how you can set up your badge, go to watch one of our other videos called Editing Your Name Badge. You can see here we have different options for the organizing committee, and this is the account that I'm currently logged into, so you can see that I am online. And then lastly, on the right-hand side here, we have the chat option. So we have the event chat, which means that you can chat with any person at the event. Um, you can link to any conference content. And then we have direct messages if you want to send a private message to any one of the attendees that have that option available. And that is our conference software.